Hey everyone, it's Angie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be working on a draw this in your style challenge I found on Instagram. I've been wanting to do another one of these for the longest time, mostly because I have not had many ideas on what to create and also these challenges keep making an appearance on Instagram and a lot of them look so cool. This one I found by an artist on Instagram and I'm not sure how to pronounce their name. So I'm just going to put it on the screen and probably link it down below. But I really like this painting they did of a girl flying on clouds. It just looks really fantastical and dreamy to me. And I wanted to give it a try at recreating it in my own way. So to be honest, it's actually been a couple of months since I filmed and put this video together but I've been really busy with the end of my summer classes and then helping my landlord with their kids and then the fall semester starting up again. I also had like no idea what to talk about for this video and I thought of maybe not even putting it out there. However, I really enjoyed drawing this and coloring uh, this piece and I had already put so much effort into it. So I didn't wanna just scrap it all together. Like I mentioned before, the fall semester has begun and now I'm back in school. My summer break um, from when I finished my summer classes was actually like two weeks long. And I really liked summer classes and I did really good grade wise and stuff. So I was really surprised and proud of myself. And it feels so unreal sometimes like, wow, <laughs> you know, in college, it's crazy. So now I'm taking more fun courses as well as like one core class. In total, I'm taking four classes and it's been a bit hectic to be honest, but I've been able to do my homework on time, so that's good. I also chose a few other Draw This In Your Style artworks I found on Instagram that I really wanna recreate and make more speed paints of them. I think some of them have like end dates, um, but I honestly just might do them anyway because I like the artwork so much. And the way I find them is honestly, I just go through like the hashtags on Instagram until I find something that catches my eye and that's how I found this one. For this drawing, I started out with the sketch using um, the original as a reference and I especially had a hard time with the hand and the angle of her arm as well as a couple of other things like her head and face expression. I had also never drawn a raven slash crow before and I had to look up a few references just because I wanted to make sure I got the pose right and the correct features. An obvious change to the piece was the colors. I really liked the way I colored the previous Draw This In Your Style I did, and I really wanted to incorporate a similar color palette. I think that really adds to it because it makes it look so whimsical and dreamy. I'm using mixed media paper and Prismacolor colored pencils for this as well as silver and gold ink towards the end for the star details. Oh, and towards the beginning, I also used a uh, fine Prismacolor colored pencils to do the outlining. Um, I've been outlining with colored pencils for a while instead of my microns, and I really like that um, that look it has of not just like a harsh black line, but like you can use different colors and create gradients. And I think it adds a lot more, especially when you put more colored pencils and like to the shading, the overall piece. I think it just looks more. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, like kind of blended together. I really like it. I think one of the most difficult things to do is to just use color pencils for your entire piece. So like no microns, no black outlining, uh, but it really shows how skilled you are with color pencils just because of how many layers you have to build to get the contrast, the depth within the piece. Uh, that you would normally just easily get with microns but with color pencils yeah it's a lot harder but the outcome and the result I think it's so worth it another thing I did was add tassels to her outfit although it was hard to keep them through the picture but in the end I emphasized them uh, with the ink and I really like the way that 
tied it all together. I think it really made my vision a reality. And for the colors, I wanted to have her uh, not just flying through the night sky, I wanted it to be more towards like a sunset time. And so I used yellows, oranges, and purples, and I added a lot more stars. And I try to have like glow from the stars to create like a, a very glowy uh, atmosphere. And I love the result. It was definitely one of those fun projects that you just enjoy the entire time from start to finish. I can't believe it's already September. Time has gone way too fast lately. I feel like I've almost had no time to really do much of anything other than school and chores. Uh, something I've been thinking about is creating my own draw this in your style challenges and even prompts for challenges like Inktober or Mermaid and stuff like that. But starting can be so daunting and I think starting small to gather some momentum would be a good place to start. Um, but those types of uh, challenges do come with a lot of planning and right now with school and everything it's just crazy um, I definitely want it to be colorful like this one and for it to kind of tell a story if I were to make uh, a challenge of some sort Something I've learned in one of my classes is that I should draw larger and we've been using pretty large paper just for still life drawing and I've been challenged as well um, as well as enjoying part of the process but it was definitely challenging to draw large. I never draw more than like a, a regular 8.5 by 11 piece really. I think drawing larger is definitely helpful in many ways. One is getting out of your comfort zone and putting to practice the skills you have and maxing them out to their full potential. It's like, it's been really interesting to see what I come up with, really. I was thinking of filming part of the process for you guys, for my art classes and the the projects I'm working on for that, those classes, I want to definitely put my finished works and works and progresses on Instagram. And uh, so far, I've been pretty impressed and happy with what I've been coming up with. Uh, but we'll see how that goes because uh, I'm really swamped with so much work. But I just really want to make this work out like YouTube and uh, school all of it together it's a lot but i really want to make it work at least a bit more consistently than i've been doing Uh, I hope you really enjoyed watching this video and the process. Stay tuned for more. Let me know what you guys think if you have any ideas for videos. If you guys uh, are interested to see anything specific, let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe so you know when I post another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!